Hello, colleague. I'm here today to talk to you about minimum e-learn standards. And the reason I want to talk to you about them is I really want to focus on the philosophy behind them. Because you might be tempted to say, I don't really need to use e-learn technology to teach my course. It's a traditional brick and mortar kind of class. It's not an online class. So why do I need to do online stuff? Actually, these minimum e-learn standards are intended to make your job easier. One of the standards is simply to send an email to all of your students and get a response. And the reason that helps you is it demonstrates to the students and your dean that if there's some kind of work stoppage, if the school is closed for a while, maybe from weather or something else, learning can still take place in your class. The train can still move forward. You can communicate content to your students. They can still absorb information. Minimum e-learn standards demonstrate that that can happen. Another thing that your minimum e-learn standards require you to do is simply create a syllabus and post it online. And you might think, well, that's not necessary. I can just create paper and ink copies. But let's be honest, we've all lost something. And sometimes our students lose stuff. And rather than have to go through a difficult conversation of a student saying they couldn't get the work done because they lost the syllabus, you have this to fall back on, that there's a syllabus located online that you've made your students aware of. And so it's, it makes it easier for the student who does legitimately lose the syllabus. It makes it easier for you. These, uh, these standards are really designed to make things better for everyone involved. Now, to see exactly what these three minimum standards are and how to complete them, the best way to do that is to go to your eLearn homepage on the right side of that page, there will be something labeled role, R-O-L-E. Click on that and go from faculty or instructor to student. And once you've done that, there will be a class that comes up called faculty development. Go to the most recent class of that. It might be faculty development, spring of 2016 or fall of 2016, whatever. Click on that class and there'll be a roll of options on the left. One of them will be labeled Minimum eLearn Standards. Click on that and it will give you all the information you need to complete these three standards. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to the administrative assistant in your division. Uh, feel free to talk to another faculty member. Feel free to contact me. I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Bye-bye.